some minutes together on this beautiful beautiful surah surah to taqwi the overthrowing we saw a vivid description of what's happening on the day of judgment from so many things happening can quickly anybody remind one scene each all of you can tell me one scene each happening on the day of judgment surah taqwi go ahead you can keep unmuting and telling us about it go ahead hadia um when the stars are dimmed okay very good next wants to go next is a shamsuku virat next after that what's happening that's really it's energy we can get it so what's happening remember the meaning um, like when the stars are like i don't know bursting and they are taken down just like you have like a you know like a shawl and you like pluck those things out of it so they are like taken down yes sir um i don't think we started because last time we just we only we only did like the word uh, of the did, we did we actually did start we, did yeah, we, we have the recording also we did the 15 first 15 verses we did oh okay yeah so. Yeah, so inshallah you can catch up from that on the recording. But we did talk about like how the the stars are like dimmed, and then what is al Jibalu Suyirat? They the the mountains are moved, right? Salma Abdul Rahman, you remember? And Maryam, yes. So and then Ahmed, Alhamdulillah. Then we you know like right now also like some sometimes we think oh if I say something or I doesn't say something it doesn't make a difference. But what did we get out of all those visualizations? Then the camera moved towards the pairing of the spouses. Then they were uh, why is the nuku suzu vijat? Then the little girl was being questioned. Allah subhanahu wa taala was so angry and he was asking like what. the reason why you killed and then when the books were become open and the last was like you know when all the things will be brought forward jahim and jannat was lifat and the last where we stopped was who would like to read that verse hmm there was a beautiful beautiful verse alimat yes go ahead sara alimat nafsun ma ahbarat excellent and then every soul will know what it brought forward so we, everything will be brought forward whatever we were doing it will be brought forward so even right now any intention in our mind right right let's remind ourselves with that and then let's ask allah subhanahu wa taala to purify our hearts minds help us you know make the best use of this time so i know we have a lot of workload on our heads but we can put anything and everything away and let's aim for the next few ayas in this surah inshallah and in the next setting we will complete it so after all that visualization allah subhanahu wa taala is going to take some oaths and tell us something important so today again like last week we are going to do a visualization challenge if anybody has any question from me then ask me right now but basically what is it that a picture is worth a thousand words okay so any words that you feel i want you to take away with you an image in your mind for today all right an image a thought for your mind from this surah so next time when you are reciting surah at-taqwil you can even visualize things how they are happening and ali bin nafsum ma ahdarat every soul will know what has brought forward so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you benefit from this time for your own self and make it a sadqa ijariya for you for a million others to come inshallah right can we make a good intention before we start yes alhamdulillah and angels are all around us and they can you know we like sometimes it's hard it's a lot of workload but even then if we keep going allah subhanahu wa taala helps so let us begin inshallah and i'm going to start with the thought of the day from my side you can do a visualization of an aya that we study together or you can even do a visualization from a thought that you have from today or from the name of allah subhanahu wa taala that we are going to discuss today any questions on that on the visualization challenge no so at the end when i ask you today i learned alhamdulillah you are sharing screen and as uh, we know that today we have like a strict deadline of cutting time so i hope everybody is able to turn there in before 2 o'clock good let's get started yes all right can we have can i see some smiles it will make you feel better 
Okay, and everybody get up and take three steps and then settle down back again. Let's do that, all of us. Or you know what? I'm going to give you 30 seconds for a quick sujood shukr and then come. That Alhamdulillah, Allah, we are still alive. We can still bring something forward to Allah SWT. 30 seconds, let's do it. Oh man, Alhamdulillah, it was so beautiful. Like when you put your head down, down on the ground, you feel like just keeping it there, <laughs> closing your eyes and just keeping it there, right? As sajood, as sajood, as sajda is so beautiful. Alhamdulillah. All right, then inshallah, let's get started. And the thought on of the day in my mind is that when one door closes, another opens. Okay, I'm gonna turn. Uh, my camera off so you can see it here that he breaks you to build you he deprives you to give you um, sometimes you know the day could be very challenging especially mondays when you come back and you have a workload and you have so many deliverables and assignments and whatnot in life sometimes it could get, get very hard but remember the pain in your heart was created to make you yearn less for this life and to yearn more for jannah so in this life, anything and everything that we have is very temporary, even the thoughts and the feelings and everything. So it's a beautiful, beautiful reminder to remind us that inshallah, inshallah, if any door closes, then we can keep going and look for the other one. Okay, so option number one, if something closes, something went bad, a test went bad, or I wasn't able to memorize one page that day, then should I just sit by that door and keep crying? Or should I get up and look for another door? Which one do you think we should go for? <laughs> Number two. Thank you, Sarah. How about the rest of you? Are we going to keep crying through the first door? No, Alhamdulillah. So, yeah. So, it's like, you know, never, like everything happens for a reason. If somebody gave you a no, it bright in with you in big. N-O means next opportunity. Okay. So, that no basically means the next opportunity. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to keep going with a very positive mind. Now, today we have the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is al if you have been following the names of Allah, I hope you are building your vocabulary and you are at times, you know, in times of happiness, in times of sadness, in times of peace, in times of ease, you are calling to Allah not anymore by Allah Mia or God or something like that, but calling Allah by his beautiful names, using his attributes and asking him. So today add to your vocabulary the name al Khafid. And al Khafid is a word. He is the reducer. Right? And what does that mean basically? You you have seen this word in the Quran somewhere as well. Anybody would like to tell me where you have seen this in the Quran? Khaf, the root word for this? Let me ask you the root word challenge first. I think that tell me that what is the root word? for al -Khafid. go ahead who's gonna tell me about that the challenge number two um it's Mukhafa and Allah. Excellent. So if you just do the process of elimination, you see that Al crosses out the and Alif Fat you put out. So you have Kha, Fa, and Dad. And this is the one who chooses the ones to be humbled, softened, or made gentle. So he is the one who is like the like somebody who brings somebody down low. And uh, he can decide who he needs to weaken or diminish. And um, so basically, you can think of al khafid as the one who humbles the proud, the haughty, or somebody who is, um, you know, um, not uh doing right so there are many me meanings to it so it's even the relaxing and diminishing and subduing all these meanings come in there all right and uh you know this uh the opposite of a profit is like rafi like profit means bring down and rafi means you are bringing up and uh, they're often used together to acknowledge that the balance and harmony are established in the kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, uh, help us, you know, he, he shows us the cause and effect. So both are here. So I hope you can note down this name as the, the one who lowers whoever he wills by his destruction and raises whomever he wills by his endowment. So he can do that. He's al-Khafid. Okay. 
and uh, there is another name of Allah we will do al mudil which is like the dishonorer it's similar but it is much more intense than al qafil so here this is so incredible that we see that uh, you know in surah al waqiyah uh, uh, this comes this this root word comes even all right and what is the root word at that point that is iza waqat al waqiyah laysa li waqatiha kadhiba khafidatu rafia so he is the one it, it, like it will bring down some and raise up others so again you can see that uh and then they come together in that sense so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lower some people to the lowest parts and then um, even if they have been mighty in this life they will be brought down and and then some will be elevated to the highest grades even if they were very weak if even if they were looked down upon in this world and they had no significance no raising they will be raised on the day of judgment so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from you know bringing us down and allah make us of those who will be elevated inshallah in the hereafter uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from doing anything uh, which has a temporary gain uh, and a long term pain may allah protect us from all those things inshallah so let us move with that to our challenge number three which is going to be six verses today from surah taqweer and we have uh, seen the 12 signs that led to the declaration that every soul will know what is uh, they have presented and now we will see four oaths that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to take and uh, will remind us that how the quran came through jibrail alayhi salam and uh, you know what we need to believe in and understand because the meccans were really making fun of the prophet sallam. so if you see from 15 to 18 we will be talking about the four oaths so i hope you can understand them very well today and then there will be four uh, things that we will learn about jibrail alayhi salam. okay so inshallah let's get started and uh, go ahead and type your name this time in the chat box so that we know that that's the order we are going for the ayahs and you know while you're talking let's do speed up so that you can use annotate side by side and you are actively these are very short simple verses uh, some words appear just once uh, that I will tell you so that's just very low vocabulary like you know very less time they appear in the Quran so with the reading order I think whose name I have first uh, Sarah go ahead you can start from verse number 15 inshallah and thank you for the challenge response al Khafid appears for the record everybody Khafid appears four times in two derived forms okay do you have those forms in front of you Sarah can you say those words how it else has appeared yeah um well um once wait sorry um three times as as the form akhfil and one khafidah. okay alhamdulillah and you know it always reminds me and that's a dua that we will do with this reference to the names when allah says like lower your wings for humility for whom is that coming for anybody remembers what is the instruction after that when allah says lowers your wings um my parents very good mashallah yeah, excellent that was really bonus and then mashallah. so we will see that in our dua today so go ahead sarah you can annotate and let's do verse 15 inshallah um um you crossed out the Hamza and the words Qasim Meen. Qasim Meen. Qasim Meen. Qasim is like when you're swearing by something, right? Yeah. Okay. And for Bil Khunas, you crossed the, the Alif and Nam and the word is Khanun Okay, very good. And uh, what does it mean? Planets. Mm -hmm. By the planets. By the planets. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, you know, swearing by 
uh, Hunnas is like you know the planets here and it has you know it has like a meaning of retreating in there so when something is receding or it's drawing back or it's retiring so that's like it's shrinking also that also has a meaning you have seen this word in al hannas in surah al nas as well okay so that uh, this appears um, probably like only two times in the quran with this root words one is surah nas and one time here okay so by these planets, there's like a beautiful description of the universe being put in front of us. And then what these are happening after that, Allah SWT wants to point towards something incredible. So go ahead, uh, Hadia, next verse, for more description of these planets. Okay. al al um, so the first word. We basically have to take out the L and then um, um, after we take out the, um, the L. Are you looking at um, it alongside? Yeah. Okay. Um, we, we basically have to take out um, the um the alif and the alif vowels and yas sometimes they go away right and i think we also have to take out the wow and replace it with a ya yeah. so it's jim raw ya i think so that comes many times in the quran where there's movement tajri and we see this a lot of times right so mm -hmm. go ahead what is the next word and the next we have to take out the um the elephant man and we have gaff noon and c very good and what is the meaning that receive move and hide okay very good. So this here, this word um, uh, kunnas, and in the next verse asas, they only appear once in the whole Quran. Okay, so it's very low vocabulary um, on this these two words. And this again, it's basically means receding, uh, you know, going backwards. And it's so amazing. Like if you see, um, you know, the kingdom of Allah Subhanahu Taala and how things are moving and the stars and you know something with the planets or something with the stars how everything is moving around it's 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 really uh, incredible anybody is interested in astronomy and seeing the stars there are some apps even that let you see what's happening uh, in the world so so these words are uh, you know they are different descriptions for them let me see if i can bring that in front of you as well so here uh, ibn jarir you know uh, he went, Ali al he was asked about this ayah, Jawal al-Qunnas um, and uh, Fala Uqsimu bil -Qunnas. So he said that these are the stars that withdraw, disappear during the day and sweep across the sky and like they appear at the night. So there is a there is lot of details that we see uh, how Allah SWT is talking about these things here. So let's move on to our verse number uh, 17 here, inshallah. The next signs. Go ahead, we have uh, my name. When Lady Ida Ashas by the night that descends, um, for a lady, you would take out the eye, um, and the root word would be la mia la. Um, and Ida doesn't have a root word, um, and then Ashas. Um, would it be Ayn Sin? Ayn Sin? Right, very good. So this one is like a Rubai. You cannot, there is no more Alifa to cross out. There is no more um, uh, Wow or Ya. So this whole Ayn Sin, Ayn Sin, and this appears only once in the Quran. All right. And again, there's a lot of description and a lot of meaning that we see regarding this verse, Asas. And uh, it's like, you know, the night when it envelops, it's, it, it has like both the meanings in it kind of built in where you are 
coming also and you're, you're defeating also. Both both meanings are found here. Subhanallah. So, um, and how many of you ever, like are brave enough to step outside when it's night and you are able to go outside and see it? Let me see. Give me thumbs up that yes, I am able to stand outside uh, in the night. It's completely dark or uh, no, I have not been able to or no, I, I can't go outside in dark. Kind of there. Okay, thank you for being honest. How about you, Abdurrahman, Maryam? Middle? Okay, Ahmed, no. <laughs> okay, take that challenge from me today. Okay, go outside. Today it's going to be getting night brighter lights because we are moving towards um, the Rajab 11. So to, kind of the moonlight will still be there a little bit. But just observe. Sometimes just go outside. Take somebody if you are unable to go by yourself. Just go outside. Take five minutes and just quietly just look in the sky. All right? And feel this. Well, When the night, it just envelops everything. And uh, subhanAllah, it's such a splendor time yeah it's amazing and then what's happening uh, then take the challenge of morning sunrise so go ahead this ayah is with ahmed go ahead ayah number 18 it's a disneyland and disney world once people start reflecting on the sign with allah swt around us go ahead ahmed um so um um, you will cross out the Alif Lam and you would, you would be left with some Slaj Ba'ajha. Um, Ida is a have root word and then Tinefas. Um, you would cross out the Da and you'd be left with Moon Ba'ajim. it was like going it was uh, departing and you know the it, it was like approaching and departing both in there and the sub the subh is like the morning and tanafas is like you know when something is breathed like breath gently into something so the nafs is like even like the soul when it's breath so everything starts you know taking shape and everything comes to life so that's like uh, even in surah al imran you know in nafa ikhtilaf al when so even the alternation of the day and night are signs for those of understanding. So I invite you all to experience this in, in uh, you know, on a daily basis. And if not daily basis, at least sometimes just step outside and see uh, these amazing wonders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happening every day, calling, reminding us of something incredible. And what is that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us uh, something incredible, which people were like making and mocking and joking. Even today, uh, you see social media and things full of such hate. So what what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying? Go ahead, Dania. <laughs> Like saying, mm -hmm. and I think the root word, the root word is qaf wow lam, mm -hmm. and also known as messenger, and the root word is ra seen and nam, mm -hmm. and karim, and karim is noble, and the root word is kaf from me. Excellent. So this is the speech of the noble messenger. So what is the speech of the noble messenger? Can you tell me what is what it is? Between pointing to. Um. Is it like. The signs or like the Quran, like not the Quran, maybe? This is the Quran, okay? Because why? Because, you know, the Meccans, they were saying that Nauzubillah Rasulullah is like a possessed, he is possessed by a devil. Or maybe he is, he has lost everything, um, you know, uh, he's lost in derangement to become so eloquent. Like he's, like all these words coming out of him, he's like a poet or something has happened to him. Or maybe, you know, Shaitan has taken over him. So they were thinking like that. And, uh, you know, like, how can somebody under the, you know, under the spell of shaitan can call people to remember God? So, subhanAllah, even, you know, like Jesus, like even Isa, salam, even in, in his book, there was like, he said that a house divided against itself cannot stand. So how can a madman, uh, you know, tell people about 
self-control and morality and things like that. So this this particular surah, uh, you know, asks these questions. And here Allah SWT is reminding uh, with such a vivid description of the last day that th this Quran, or this speech that the Prophet ﷺ is telling everybody is the is a word from the noble messenger, right? And let's see where is it coming from. So go ahead, uh, Salma. في قوتنا عند ذي العرش مكين. The doesn't have a root word. قوتن doesn't have one either. No, kuwat is, is like a word, right? So it's not a harf. So if you see, you can cross out the ta at the end. And you don't see that, but you will have to add a ya at the end to make it like qawi. Like you remember Allah's name also, al qawi Aziz? Yeah. Okay. So that belongs to that same family. Qaf, waw, ya. Kuwa means power. Hmm? Uh, I, I don't think it has one either. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ainda has uh, the same root, but Ain Noon Dal, same thing. And the doesn't have one. Yeah, Arsh, the al, mm -hmm. al Arsh doesn't have, um, it does, it's Ain, Ra, and Sheen. Excellent. And Makin, uh, you take out the Ya. Mm -hmm. So it's Meme Kaf Noon. Very good. So basically what is, you know, it is, um, so it, it, this is like, just like, you know, Allah SWT, uh, you know, told us that this is, this Quran is coming, uh, who possess great strength and is held in honor by the Lord of the throne. So that's where, and Allah SWT is the one, like he's really um, uh, powerful. So we see in other places, Allah says, Allah So, so this is like, Showing the Lord of the Throne, uh, Makin, that is high status. Makana Makan is when something is stable and uh, it's like a lofty rank with Allah SWT. So that's the meaning here. So the is like possessor and the Kuwa is the possessor of the power and the uh, of, of the mighty throne as well. And then uh, let's read the verse number 21. That is with... Let's see, I lost the chat here. Uh, Abdurrahman, your turn, right? Go ahead. Um, Mutain mm -hmm. is, uh, we cross out the Eddie. Mm -hmm. So then it's meme fine. Yeah, here the, the meme is like the mold, so you can cross that out also. And then if you think about some of the family words, Tau'an, Awkarhan, or um, Muti, or you will see that we need to add a wow in the in the middle. Okay? Do you remember yeah. the meaning of Tau'an, Awkarhan, when we say something? What does it mean? Like uh, when someone's doing something that someone told them to do. Or? Okay, very good. Like, you know, we see this word many times in the Quran. Atiullaha wa atiur rasul. Right? So this ta, ta wa ain is when you do something happily, voluntarily. So karhan is when you do it detestfully. You are like, oh, why do I need to do this? That's, that's like you're doing it, but you are doing it with not much happiness. Okay? So remember, if you, if you learn only this word today, you will see that you can, we can all live a very happy life if you start doing things with tau'an. Tau'an. Keep that as a code of your life. Okay? I'm going to do this thing. Tau'an. So, inshallah. So, atiullah wa atiur rasul will become very easy, inshallah. All right. Then... Uh, Thamma, mm -hmm. uh, does it have a root word? Yes, it doesn't have a root word, it's just like a helping uh, time frame involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we cross out the yeah, so it's, um, Hamza mean no. Excellent, I mean, so that's like trustworthy, right? So, so this is, um, you know, it's it's not from even like Allah SWT is saying that this is not even from somebody like a lower level. This is from a higher level angel and he's high ranking uh, prestigious angel. And uh, he is like chosen because he he obeys and then he's trustworthy. So who brought the Quran down to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? 
Uh, in this Jibreel, Jibreel very good. So here, this Amin is is a description for him that he's you know very trustworthy, and um, uh, so he commanded his servant and he had uh, you know brought this down. So inshallah, next time when we meet, we will see that wama sahibukum bi majnoon. So he is not like getting anything from a devil or something, but he is getting it from who is the quwwat in inda dil arshi makin and mata in thamma amin. So Allah subhanahu wa taala help us build that in our self as well this trustworthiness inshallah is a lesson so uh, we will stop at this verse inshallah for now uh, reflecting on the four signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the four signs that he talked about the retreating stars and night and the day and um, their their actions over there all right and then we will remember about Jibreel alayhi salam. He's mighty. He's coming from near the throne. He's, the Quran is directly being revealed. So the angel Jibreel alayhi salam, they, he brought the Quran to the Prophet, like from, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the heavens and from the heavens to the earth to the Prophet alayhi salam. This was the transition here. So today dua, if you want to note down uh, with reference to the name al Fafid is, uh, reminds me of this word as I was telling you earlier, waghfid lahuma. Right, Jana Hazulli in a Rahma. So, lower uh, for both of them your wings in humbleness or humility. So, inshallah, no more frowning to mom and dad, no more making faces. Always remember that they are your parents, even if they are not being reasonable. Even then, this is not an instruction when, uh, when everything is uh, like if, if they are telling you something unreasonable. Right. So remember, even with Ibrahim alayhi salam, his father was saying him something wrong. And even then he was saying that, Ya Abati, he was full of respect and honor. That Ya Abati. So I hope you guys say this dua. Rabbi rahamhuma kama rabbayani sagheera. Who would like to tell the meaning of this dua? Ahmad, you didn't get to turn. So why don't you do this ayah for us? Can you do a word by word meaning of this ayah? Um, the entire ayah? Just try it. Yeah. Um and see the uh, root words on some words. Everybody can help or everybody can annotate if they like to help. Ahmed. Yes, go ahead. Ahmed. Okay. Um, walk, walk fill, um, would be ka, ka, bad. Excellent. Um, lahuma, it would be no, um, no. Um, no. It's behuma is for two, right? For both the parents. Lahuma for both of them. Um, Excellent. This is wings. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, 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 Lam. Lam. Very good. The lam lam zul. It's like again bringing lower um, or humility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no root word. Um, uh, Means from. Mm -hmm. As a talif lam and uh, that would be a uh, name. Excellent. Um, wa qul. Um, no root word. It has a root word. Qul. Qaf wa lam. Um, Very good. Um, 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 so Kama is no for just like and Rabbayani same thing Rababa Rab just like they were like taking care of us and Sar line and Ra is like Sagira. Then we were little, right? Mashallah, you guys are growing every day, day by day. You're growing so fast, Mashallah. May Allah bless you. So go ahead. It's time for us to show what we know. Okay, this crossing out is not working for me anymore. So let me. Move that and definitely make this dua as often as you can, okay? Inshallah, and uh, share with everybody that they can 
say it even if the parents are living the prophet sallam told us even if their parents are alive or they are not alive we can say for them rabbi khair warhamhuma kama rabbayani saghira amin ya rabbal alamin i always say it three times one for my parents one for my in-laws and one time for all the teachers who have ever taught me you know thinking about that as my parents as well who taught me so go ahead again name order please so that we can uh, share and i can stop screen scare and you can share and you can turn the cameras off if you like so that we can quickly go through this so all your sal uh salman right salma was the first one going for there go ahead salma yes hadi um uh -huh. salma's first yes She, uh, you can put your names. I saw Selma uh, after the Rahman. She wrote her name first, right? So she is first, and all of us can can keep our cameras off for a little while so that they don't come on the recording. I was just so that we can do this faster. Inshallah, Jazakumullah Khair. Even myself. Okay. All right, Selma, go ahead, sweetie. I did was so happy you got an office. Uh, give me just one second. Trying to. <coughs> Trying to get this in the right position that we can see it properly. Okay, and what did what did this mean? Always add like a, a reference to it as well. But that's a beautiful, beautiful uh, description that we are seeing here. So that is beautiful. Jazakumullah khair. So what is the, what does it mean? I buy the dawn that softly breathes. Excellent. All right. Inshallah. So go ahead. The next in line. Hadia, go ahead. Um, I actually wrote my name, so I'm not. Okay, you're not ready. Okay, who is ready? Whoever is ready. Ahmed, go ahead. <coughs> I did like um the level of mobile for the nest um and he survived the planet. Excellent. There is so much to reflect when it comes to the planets or the stars in the universe. Zakmullah khair wa asam jaza. And there are lots of apps we can use as well. Go ahead next. Go ahead, Dania. Today I learned. Um, I did when Lady Ida answers, which is and by the night closes in. Okay. Alhamdulillah, and how it beautifully wraps up everything. It's incredible, right? All right, Jazakumullah Khair. And next. Go ahead, Abdul Rahman or Sara. Are you ready, Hadia? Go ahead, Maria. Um, okay. Um, I can't really find a good picture, but um, for Al Khafid, um, the reducer. So, um, I got this picture. That's a, that's a really nice uh, visualization, Maria. That's beautiful. You're right because the, he's the one who's lowering it down. So this will all help us visualize Al Khafid and Al Khafid of Rafia. I hope we are going this way on the Day of Judgment, right, Rafia? <laughs> Inshallah. So that this is really beautiful. Jazakumullah khair. All right. So go ahead. Last two minutes. Good trying, Mashallah. Abdurrahman, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go ahead, Hadi. Yeah. Um. So I did um. What did they leave us? And it's basically about like how it um it changes from night to day. Excellent. 
it's there's really beautiful visualization in it and it's like that like if we stand outside you know like around maghrib time and try to reflect just on these signs it's so incredible how there's so much change people say the sun is just like the sky is just blue but it's so many colors you will see them uh, it's incredible phenomenal jazakumullah khair and last i think all right abrahman you there Oh yeah, okay. right. Yeah. All right. I think you're you're muted, Abdurrahman. Maybe I didn't hear you, but we could see the image on the night. So I was saying I did um Walayli that. Okay, wonderful. Yes, I could see the image. Alhamdulillah. So Jazakumullah khair. You can turn your cameras on if you like, inshallah. And remember al Khafid. And whenever you remember al Khafid, remember Waqfid Janahaka, right? So lowering your wings of humility in front of your parents, inshallah. So keep each other in your precious dua. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Thanks, Mom. This is Shreya. Thank you.